Welcome back to Element 14 Presents. I'm Lorraine Underwood, and this week I'm going to create a game using pose detection. In one of my previous videos, I created an interactive window display using pose detection. So I had a, a Raspberry Pi camera in the window looking out trying to see what the people in my garden were doing. <laughs> so they lifted their left hand, it would go red, and their right hand, it would go blue. I just had a lot of fun with that. I didn't have a lot of time to play with it, um, but I thought, oh, you know what, this would be, this would be such a cool game. You can really go further with this. And that's what we're doing today. So I wanted to create a pose detection game, kind of like the um, Step Revolution game I created, but for your whole body. So it tells you to put your left hand in the air, put your right hand in the air, uh, put your hand over there, put your foot over there. <laughs> and uh, you have to try and score points or try and do it until the timer runs out. So a camera will be tracking your poses. Um, I've kind of seen these gimmicky in like, um, people talk about having yoga cameras that like detect your pose so that they can correct it. I'm not sure how like realistic they are, like how, how good they are. Um, I know that what I want to do is quite simple because we're just taking those points that the camera can find on the body. So it finds the left wrist and the left elbow and the left ear and then just working out, you know, the coordinates. Not even, I don't even know what the coordinates, I don't even need to know what the coordinates are. I just need to know that like the Y coordinate of my left wrist is higher than my left eye. And I've already done that code um, from the window, so it's just a matter of gamifying it. So while in the window video, I did show how to install pose detection on a Raspberry Pi, that was on Ubuntu because you need a 64-bit operating system. But between that video and now, Raspberry Pi has uh, produced a 64-bit Raspbian. So you need that running on a Raspberry Pi 4 to run TensorFlow. So on this website here, we got the TensorFlow website. It does talk about, you know, TensorFlow Lite. Don't follow these instructions though. Go for their examples and they'll have a try on the Raspberry Pi GitHub page. This is quite funny. It's like, see this blog post to be decided <laughs> for a full guide on doing pose estimation. But you don't need a blog post. You've got me um, and this guide. You just um, download this folder. Um, I actually couldn't download this folder. I had to download like the whole thing from here. So like uh, from GitHub, this is the address that you're going to download. So you end up with a whole lot of them. You can always delete them um, onto your Raspberry Pi and then run the, the setup script and it should just install a few things for you, mainly uh, TensorFlow. Uh, it does upgrade your Pi so it can slow things down. But yeah, it's getting you the models um, as well, which is good. This is the file that we're going to be focusing and basing all our code on. Let's have a look at that pose estimation file then. So we've got all our libraries here, the OpenCV, and it has a number of um, models that you can choose from. You can send them in, in the argument when you run the file. We're actually going to stick with the default one, which is MoveNet Lightning. So here in the code, it's capturing footage from the camera. Uh, we don't need to worry about classification because we're not kind of trying to determine what it is we're looking at. You know, we're not looking like, is it a cat? Is it a dog? Um, so what it returns is this array, I think, of list persons, and then it classifies them. So let's, before we draw out stuff, let's print uh, list persons and see what actually we get back. Oh, we get this error because it's trying to display it, so it's doing an IM show, um, and because we're just putting putty in. <laughs> putting in, um, this doesn't work. So if you run this on the desktop, you wouldn't get this uh, problem. Um, I could turn that off somewhere, but I won't I won't for now. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, so this is the, it spotted a person before it crashed. So this is what we get. We get back kind of this person object, which has key points. So it's like the nose. I have zero noses, I think. Or maybe that's um, confidence. 
This is the coordinate of the nose, or there must be a nose, if it has coordinates. Um, and this is the confidence score, okay. Oh, I think that's actually just the order the object goes in. So nose is first, then it's left eye, then it's right eye. Yeah, that's not a confidence score, that's just the number that object is. So let's see what the scores go up to. So 0 0.11, what are you confident about? 0 0.15, how high does score go? 1.6. 08, I definitely don't have a left ankle. <laughs> what about an elbow? 1-3. Okay. I don't know. I need to find out what the scale is um, for these scores to find out, you know, what I'm going to count as like, yes, that's definitely an elbow before I can start writing my code. Ah, here we go. So on the um, TensorFlow Light website pose estimation, it tells you where the score is. So it's between 0, 0.0 and 1.0. So that's the confidence score, and then it gives you all the part IDs. So yeah, nose is zero, you've got left eye, right eye. So that's what that data means. So we could try and create like a classification library where we say like uh, using kind of more AI kind of code where we kind of say, you know, person with the left hand in the air is classified as person with their left hand in the air. Um, but it seems like overkill <laughs> really for what I want to do. So I'm just going to do like a very uh, <laughs> bodge job of just a load of if statements. If the left wrist is above the left eye, then we're going to count that as the left hands in the air. So I've got TensorFlow running on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now we're going to run the sample code. The sample code runs and it shows uh, the video of what it can see and what it's sensing. Um, so I can't record that video at the same time. Well, I can, <laughs> but it will slow down my uh, frames per second. So I'm just going to record it on the camera. So yeah, it'll look a bit weird. <laughs> so that's me. Okay. Um, so it's hard to see there on the screen. Let me try and bring it in further. So the reason uh, the points are going a bit crazy is the lighting in here on this camera isn't great. So the lighting does um, flicker you, on my phone camera, but it's catching me. Yeah, it can see me. It's got my, got my nose, my eyes. There's some points that are going a bit crazy around here. You can see it's not in sync. So the FPS is <laughs> just seven, um, which is going to be, it's a bit slow, but it works. So the post estimation does work on the Raspberry Pi 4. Um, it's a bit slow, F eight frames per second, but I think it'll be all right for our purposes. Um, it'll work better in different lighting as well, I'm sure. Okay, so here we are in the sitting room. Um, it's really bad lighting in here, um, but I'm going to zoom into the TV so you can see the screen. It's me! <laughs> um, so you can still see how slow it is. So I'm going to put my hand up. <laughs> yeah. That's low. So it's going to be a bit of a lag on the game. Two seconds. What I can do about the lag is actually not show that screen. So not show themselves um, in the game and just let them know if they were right or wrong. So that might actually speed up a, a lot, but it's hard to tell if it is sped up because you can't see yourself. <laughs> we're going to try some options. So the player needs to be told what to do. So they'll see a series of images and here are the very um, artistic images that I've drawn in the very sophisticated software um, called PowerPoint. <laughs> uh, so this is like, I need to decide, is that left hand or is that right hand? I think I'm gonna go like mirror, so that's left hand, right hand, both hands, uh, left leg, right leg, so right leg above left knee. And then we have a combination of a few of these moves. Um, <laughs> there's going to be some, some good dancing going on here. I've just got seven so far. Um, let me see how I get on with coding these up. Are you an engineer, electronics hobbyist or maker? Join the Element 14 community where you can learn about new products and technologies, see cool projects and connect directly with the people that make the products and engineers that use them. Join now! The next bit of the code is to show an image and get the person to reenact that image. 
Uh, and I've done this in a really <laughs> kind of ooh, manual way. So I've got a list of the names of the poses. And then I pick a random one and I just say next to false. I'm just printing weight so I know which pose I'm supposed to be doing. Obviously you want to display that to the user actually. Um, and then I'm using fe to display um, that image. So I've actually named the images from these variables in the list. So I create a tuple um, of body parts and give them all a value and they're kind of the wrong way around values, not what you're expecting. Then I update each body part every time the camera finds it. So if we're looking for the left hand and it's flipped, I should really just flip the image. Um, so if the right eye is less than the right wrist, then they've done it. And we move on to the next um, item, ne next random choice. Um, obviously I want to add a scoreboard or something here. I want to add a timer so they time out if they don't get it on time. Um, otherwise you're just going to be forever trying to get your wrist over your eyeball. So that looked terrible. <laughs> I'm embarrassed looking back at that code uh, now that I've spotted all the bugs and fixed all the bugs. Um, if you want a longer explanation of what I was doing wrong and how I fixed it, you can check it, that video out on the Element 14 community. But basically, uh, I didn't like the way the flirt command was showing um, my image, so I just did another IM show and the two windows together, I kept saying destroy all windows, which was obviously closing both windows, the window of me and the window of the stick man. I needed to clear the buffer. So it would say left hand and I would be like this. The window would close, which you know I'm fixing, um, but then it would say left hand again and my screen would come back up and I'm still frozen with my left hand. So I would win a point even though I shouldn't. And it shouldn't be a problem, except I have both hands as a command. So you're not gonna go left hand, left hand, because that's not really a dance move. Um, but if you have both hands, that means you're just always going to win um, as the buffer freezes. So that's something um, that I need to figure out still. But what's really disappointing is the slowness of it all. Um, seven frames per second, it really is too slow. Uh, showing my screen of me with all the points and the screen of the stick man. It, like, you can see the frames per second going down to like two. <laughs> so yeah, mm. I'm going to remove my screen and play a few rounds and add the feet in because I was just practicing with the hands because when you're testing code, you're continually running it. So you didn't want to have to stand up and lift my leg. So I'm going to add those in, bring it up to the sitting room, get a few people playing it without the video and see um, if it works. You know, can they, can they work it out? Does it make sense without them seeing themselves? Actually, the delay with the video on might not be so bad. Here it is with the video on. And let's try turning the video off. Oh, this faster. <laughs> Come on! That sounds... Right leg. I just have a bug with the uh, the combinations. Luckily, the left hand, right leg one uh, just has a bit of a bug in it, so I have to fix that. That's why it keeps crashing. But um, yeah, it is faster without the video screen. Uh, it's gonna be pretty exhausting once it stops crashing. Um, yeah, I can't wait for my kids and husband to try it. Faster! 
So you've put it in front of your right foot there. <laughs> Yay, you did it, you did it. Now, <laughs> left leg, right hand. Oh. Left leg. <laughs> higher, higher, higher. Yes, you did it. Left leg. Right. Right leg, left hand. Yay. So you can probably tell from those videos, we're not a house of dancers. <laughs> We, we make things, we're creative, but we just got no rhythm. <laughs> it's also really hard to do um, the, the left leg because it's actually the left ankle has to get above the right knee. So you have to be able to see the right knee. So it's a bit of a weird, <laughs> almost like a, a Monty Python silly walk. So I know this video wasn't a lot of making either. Uh, it just basically attach a, a camera to a Raspberry Pi 4. And then it's all about the code and the testing and having a bit of fun. Sometimes that's what I like to do. <laughs> but doesn't mean it couldn't be makery, more makery in the future. So you don't need uh, a TV to display images. You could just display them on any screen, um, like an RGB LED screen. So the stick man could appear on here. <laughs> that is so cute. And you just copy him. Um, or you could go the other way around. So it's basically like it's mimicking your body points, right? So you dance and it makes the stick man dance. Or like a puppet, like a real puppet. Uh, probably wouldn't be able to get it to stand, but I think we could get it to do some moves. What would you like my next video to be about? Do you want to see more pose dissection? Back to some more basic electronics? Uh, let me know. All the code is on the Element 14 community and that's where I'll be to answer your questions. So till next time.